Sure. What is that ethnicity? What's the other ethnicity? What is the the mother is what and the father is what? I, okay, the reason I'm having a hard time oh is my guy. Is like, hey, baby. <laughs> Good afternoon, likewise. Uh, no hugs, please. Okay. Not no hugs! <laughs> he said, no hugs, please, bruh. When you marry a white woman, you are investing in white supremacy. Correct. But I would say, listen, your wife is white. So we're going to stop the black talk right there. Love you, but you are no use to me with that white woman on your arm, bro. Now we're going over what role she should play. The plan is to tell Dr. Umar that I'm having relationship problems because my girlfriend wants an open relationship. But little does he know, when she gets out here, she's going to be Caucasian, and I'm going to have her say this to him. What do you want her to say in this situation? You say I think Dr. Umar should join us one time. Oh, my God. Only a few minutes he left until Dr. Umar thing. arrives. We got a full plan, and we're ready to execute. This is crazy. Dr. Umar and yes, the flesh, sir. man. Honest mind, brother. What a pleasure it is to meet you. Likewise, me. likewise. Man, how's life been for you? Life been great. I can't complain. Always ready for revolution. Hey, man, I, 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 I can never go a day without seeing you on the internet, so. <laughs> and, oh, man, what a blessing. What a moment. My brother, Dr. Umar. Glad to be with you. How are you doing, man? With you. How's everything? Man. Everything's going great. I, yes, I, I can't complain, man. Like I said, I can't go a day without seeing your content on the internet. So that means you're doing something good. Like, honestly, like, I'm, uh, I'm trying to get like that, honestly. So I guess, you know, just for the, for the average viewer, can you tell people a little bit more about who you are? Uh, sure. Uh, Dr. Umar Ifatunde. I'm a certified school psychologist. I'm a doctor. Yep. Clinical psychology. I'm a therapist. I am a parent advocate. Uh -huh. I am a pan-Africanist, which Amen. is probably the most important hat that I wear. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm author of two books, Psychoacademic black parent advocate where can we find it amazon dr umar johnson.com okay so he got, he got his own website okay That's my fault private uh publisher independent and i'm currently uh working on finishing up an independent school okay. uh frederick Douglass and marcus garvey academy based in wilmington okay. delaware we got a paint day coming up in about two weeks mm -hmm. and then uh we should almost be ready to pass to apply for our inspection hopefully we pass the inspection and we'll have a grand opening celebration for the community sometime the end of the summer that's a beautiful dr. thing I, open up a school. I always give any respect to someone open up a school because you're prioritizing the kids. Yes, sir. And we're doing it independently. That's so that's even harder. It's not, not public? public. Okay, All wow. No, I like the stuff you do because it's about black excellence. And Absolutely. my group, like I said, not only are we the number one content group in America, I mean, the number one black group and the number one content group in general, black, white, Hispanic. So we really are about black excellence. And that was one of the goals when we started this group. It's called AMP. Uh, we're about, you know, maybe five or six million subscribers. That was one of the goals is, you know, showing people, hey, you don't got to be outside with the stick. You don't got to be outside with the tool. You don't got to be outside with, with, with the Draco, with the nine, with the 40, with the 50, with the 60, with the 70 cal. You can pick up a camera and vlog. Yeah, you can get in the camera, you can get sturdy. You know, you can, you can do 20 <laughs> V1s and, Absolutely. And, and tell women, hey, hit a 360 for me real quick. And like, see, I know you. Not, like, there's a lot of things you can do. But we don't want to do that. Why not? Because we don't want to sexually exploit our women. One of the biggest problems that we have, your generation in particular, those younger than you, there's too much focus on the sexual objectification and exploitation of black yeah. women. Okay, so that's fair, but what if she's actually like, look, now I'm, I'm being serious now, what if she's actually just so thick? That's okay. I love my women five, five, thick in the thighs. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Come on now. To a curvy queen. That's all I like. But mm -hmm. we have to be careful that we don't go so far in our attraction, mm -hmm. right? That lust is now being used as a way to lynch our sisters and create an atmosphere where they have been permanently objectified for their sexual attraction. Mm -hmm. We got to get into some of the, the hard-hitting questions now. Uh, do, you, do you know what a, a gyat is? I do not. Okay. I'm just trying to get some examples. So I'm, I'm going to just think of a good example. I mean, like... Tell so, me what it is, why you... It's a guy. It's like a woman with a big butt. So, like, if you see that... I'm looking at a white woman. You know what? Brother, brother, come on. A booty is booty now. Come on. Girl crazy? Come on, brother. <laughs> I'm looking at a white woman. So I, okay. No, sir. Come on, bro. No, So you can't, you can't see that and be like... You better like, pull up some mixed race sisters. Okay. But you ain't giving me no snow bunny. No, sir. Hey, she mixed with something, I think. No. So she's uh -huh. like... So you can't... You, <laughs> I'm not... I saw you sneaking peek. I saw you sneaking peek. Hey, nah, he's he's sneaking peek. I saw you. He said, he said, he said, no disrespect. Respect to the Caucasian female. Okay. There's a lot of brothers who want them, uh, like yourself. Yeah. But I'm not one of them. My biggest thing, and I've seen you talk about relationships time and time again. Um, like I said, I'm a Christian. I'm a uh, I'm monogamous. Um, and your my, partner. Yes. What is her race? Come on, you know. What is she? You know I love my queens, brother. Come on now. Is she black? Brother, come on. Is she black? Come on, brother. You know, <laughs> you know how I feel. Say she's black. Brother, come on. 
Why you like, he, know, he we, we in a all black, we in a black content that house. Mean we in a, the, the number that one. Bl- you just push snow bunnyism like I'm. No, I didn't. Seen. No, I didn't. But I'm gonna explain. You're a black woman, Bro, brother. Come on. What, like, I'm not trying to just hand it. Yes. Okay. Okay. okay anyway, yeah, she I'm, got. I'm she, she definitely. Yeah. She de- okay. Um, so the the problem I'm having with my current relationship is because she is very out there. You know, this generation is very, they like to go twerk in the club. They like to go be ratchet and stuff like that. So it's like, my, my girlfriend, I'm trying to sit here and build a long living Christian life. I'm a provider. You see this house. I mean, I'm, God is blessing me. God is blessing me. And it's like, she is out the club, at the club shaking ass on her friends. Like she, you know, have you seen the, the Ice Spice pose? I've heard that Ice Spice, what is that? Ice Spice? Okay, I get, said, I, what I, is I, that? I you said pose? <laughs> yeah, it's a pose. What is it? I'm going to just say. You need to see it. It's X, what is it? I mean, uh, can you turn it to him? No, oh, I'm can, not doing You're not going to do it? Okay, all right, all right, okay. <laughs> okay, so the ice. That type of pose. Oh, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. But the Ice Spice pose, basically, she's bending over. And my girl is, I take care of her. I get her Prada bag. I get her Chanel. And she's in the club. And the thing that pissed me off the most, and the reason why I'm like, okay, I, you know. How long have y'all been together? Nine months. I've been together nine months. Yeah. Have you expressed your disagreement with her public behavior? A thousand percent. Has and it changed at all? S- slightly, but it, it's it's taken a step back. She's on, she's on the club weekly. But the thing that's throwing me off right now is two weeks ago, she with my friend, and like they, my friends can't hang out. My girlfriend and my friend can't hang out, and he wasn't with this, but she started doing the ice spice pose on him. So let me ask you a question. Okay. How can you, uh-huh. or why haven't you? Hmm. Being the proud Christian brother that you are, yeah. Why haven't you given her an ultimatum? Because I'm trying to save her, and I, I like, I, like I said, she's she's a big fan are of. Are you trying to save her, or are you addicted to that booty yourself? Oh, brother, Doctor Omar, come on, <laughs> come on, let's keep it. Stay with what I'm uh, saying. Okay. If you are as committed to your faith as you claim, yeah. How is it that you spent almost a year with a woman who doesn't sound like she's the least bit interested? No, no, in she, Jesus Christ? she's very interested. In Christ and everything, everyone has their bad habits, and she she that's was just not outside. a habit, like, brother. That's outside. a lifestyle. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Before like you know, before the, we started doing, she was like definitely racking it up. She was going crazy in college. I see. But potential. why are you attracted to that type of a woman? I want to deal with right, you more than right. her because we can't. She's a big fan of you, by the way, and she. Yeah. I appreciate my sister, uh-huh. and I'm gonna give her 40 lashes for doing the ice spice. But listen, okay. Oh my god. What do you mean by lashes? Is that? Whipping post. Okay. Listen. Okay. Metaphorically, not yeah, literally. Yeah, I know. I know. We know. Well, because like my girl, she has a percentage of bugger. Like my girl, she has a percentage of bugger. Like, a- like you know. Uh- um. Wait, wait, stop. <laughs> <laughs> My wife, my woman got a percentage of black. 100%. What'd you say? Wait, wait, you wait, 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 you one of us. She definitely, she 100% psychological. But you said she has some black. I don't know what the percentage is. Uh, well, she, we she, need to know what the percentage is. As a matter of fact, uh, she Because if she got one percent black, yeah. she ain't black. Baby, baby, can you uh, come in here? She's, she's in the building today. Okay. Uh, I'm going to introduce God. her. What is her ethnicity? What's the other ethnicity? It's, what is the, the mother is what and the father is what? I, okay, the reason I'm having a hard time oh is my like, God. Like, hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> Good afternoon, likewise. Uh, no hugs, please. Okay. Not no hugs. hugs! He said no hugs, please, bruh. Come on, come on, come here. Okay. Yeah, so, um, come on, we gotta get cozy now, brother. Come on. No, no, no. So, I was talking about my issue with you is that you be in the club. You talked about, I don't even know what the term is, swapping or switching partners one time. Like, I just feel like you should be more lower to me. But I just feel like I'm more happy whenever I'm out there. So, but you've said several times that I make you happy. Yeah, you do make me happy. But I would be happier if we had an open relationship. That's that's my problem with Omar. I have a question, uh, young lady. Your name? Tori. Please to meet you, Tori. What is your ethnicity, Tori? I'm white. Okay, she and what are the... Hold on, hold on. Yeah. What are the, uh, if you don't mind me asking, your father's ethnicity and your mother's ethnicity? 
My mom, I mean, my dad is, I think, European. Italian, I, Greek, I don't know. I think Polish. Irish. Okay, maybe Polish, your father, and your mother is. I don't know. Okay, but, yeah. but definitely Caucasian. But this is your okay. thing, Lamar. Look, look at look at my look at my. He said you had a percentage look at, look of black background. in you. Look at my background. I got this woman on my background. I'm Are you? To... Have you ever done any DNA testing to ascertain if you had any African blood? Mm, no, but okay. my mom has. I just don't know what the results were. Okay. But there was African. Mm -hmm. Okay. But your mother, if I saw her, would clearly appear to me as a Caucasian female. Let's get, let's all because the you. shot's wide. Can we can all get closer? Come, baby, can you no, you're, you're fine. Yeah. You're fine, Tori. Totally. <laughs> oh, my God. I would disagree with him being with you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not because I have an issue with you as a human being, I want you to understand, but because I have an issue with him as a black man who I feel should have chosen a sister out of loyalty to the community. But she's like a sister. So it's not a dismissal of you. You understand me? It's a loyalty to us that I think a lot of black men take him. He's a successful young brother, doing very well for himself, and instead of getting a sister, he gets a Caucasian woman. And that represents a significant contradiction for me as a Pan-Africanist and someone who is trying to build my people. The most important thing to me is I want to get your advice because I think that you have a, a genuine understanding of relationships and people. I need her to stop swinging. She, she's, trying to, she's trying to get us to start swinging. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the term. Swinging. He can. Y'all being intimate with other people. That's what she's doing. I'm not doing okay. that. I'm not doing that. I'm completely against anything non traditional. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't even give you the advice because I cannot approve of the relationship itself. Brother, you can 100% give me advice. Although I can respect this okay. young lady. Why did you think it was okay to twerk on my friend? I felt like he wanted me to. What in the fuck? Don't curse at me. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not using profanity. I'm not using profanity with you. I'm simply saying, if you think my close friend, who I play basketball with, who I go to gym with every day. If you think putting my, my partner, who I'm trying to uplift as my queen, if you think putting your, rubbing your butt against him in the club is respectful, I think you're completely wrong. And I know you can agree with that. But well, I don't agree with you. I feel like it was fine. We were just a band the moment. And one, and one word she always tries to use is insecure. She tries to say I'm insecure. Because you are. Let me interject. Okay. That is an issue that the two of you will need to discuss. I cannot lend any of my professional insight because I do not agree with interracial relations. But that's the problem. But it's not even just the relationship. It's just the fact that she's trying to fuck with other men. Like, but you can mess with other girls. And you're using the N-word. I'm, I'm not doing it. And you're using the N-word, which you should not be using at all. But you're using it in the presence of non-African people. Uh, so you wouldn't be willing to join us? Absolutely. Oh my God. What? I only drink chocolate milk. That's very disrespectful. Not only Man, drink this chocolate milk. This, 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 <laughs> this, is, this is where I go. Oh, this is not okay. Why am I going to provide for you? Because at the end of the day. It's Listen, Dr. Umar is fed the fuck up. They better wrap this up quick. <laughs> they better wrap this up quick. Quick, cause he looked like he about to just leave. Look at that face. Look at his face. Um. Again, I'm gonna need y'all to table that, handle that on your own time, mm -hmm. and we can get back to our conversation. Unless our conversation is over, cause I I don't agree with interracial relationships, so I don't even feel comfortable being a part of this three way conversation. I don't, even like using the word. I don't even like you using the, the word three way around her because she always getting ideas and shit. It was nice to meet you. Likewise. I just feel like the conversation wasn't really done. Oh no, I'm leaving. <laughs> You why do you feel like Sorry, you got to excuse us. If you valued black women, you would keep searching until you find the one that you need. You don't value black women, you value white women. You oh, are shit. a bunny hopper. Oh, oh my God. God. I don't believe that <laughs> African can have a Caucasian soulmate. And it's an insult against her that you're only with her for what she can do for you as it yeah. relates to your career. I agree. You want to eat damn, you're his dick? God damn. Get off his dick. <laughs> God, leave. Why, though? Huh? Why what? Why should I have to? Get off, what should you have to, to what? Get off his dick. That's, that right there is disrespectful to me. That's disrespectful to me. If okay. he's down, I'm down. That's all I'm saying, like. I'm not into either interracial dating or non-traditional forms of sexual intimacy. I don't believe in twosomes, threesomes. I'm not into that. And I'm not into bunny hopping, so no thank you.
What if I change your mind? No, let's stop. I'm going to get her an Uber. Please give me a second. I'm going to get her Uber. While Dr. Umar thinks I'm getting her an Uber to leave, I'm actually talking to her about how this is the final time she's going to have a chance to riz this man up. I walked in first and oh told her to come God. out a few seconds afterwards he so she get can approach Dr. Her. Umar. Well, Hebrew Israelite, is, go, Hebrew Israelite is different <laughs> or a black consciousness religious movement. You feel me? We're talking about traditional Christianity tends to be colorblind. And in being colorblind, he was raised without any loyalty to the black oh, community. Of loyalty. She and that's what allowed she got at least three percent. She got at least three percent error. She got at least three percent error. Yes, so that's not really going against what you've been saying nah, then. Nah, nah, nah. See, the problem here is you're trivializing a very serious problem in the black community. Tell, please tell me. Please tell me. I think you're making mockery of the tragedy. What the fuck is that? What in the world? Mockery? Of no, like, black I'm... men not being loyal to black women. I think you're making a mockery of it. Guys, shut the fuck up! Okay. And see, I wouldn't expect her to understand because it's not her responsibility to. And she's talking, he's talking about that and you want to ask him to join us a bit? Yes. What type of whole shit is that? You're calling me a hoe? Yes, because you're asking to sleep with one of my guests. This, this is so, something. I already told you what my views were before we ever got together. Really not interested. Are you sure? Absolutely, Tori, thank you. <clears throat> no, thank you. Yes, ma'am. You can't even look me in the eyes? I'm absolutely, positively sure. I don't oh, want to I feel, like, I feel like you're making some severe eye contact with my girl. That's what I'm saying. Now, you're making some eye contact see, with my girl. I see that's the no, 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 chill, chill. Yeah. I see them no, there's no signs. There's no signs. I don't see the signs. <laughs> I'm going with him. You're going what? Nah, nah. Yeah. All jokes aside, I'm not interested in the story. But you And he's been excommunicated from the black community. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm in the black community still. No, you're not. Come on. <laughs> Stop it. Nah, it's big. No, 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 no. You've been excommunicated. Men who are not loyal to the black community, we kick them out. He can't even want to go home and get some paperwork in the mail that what? lets him know we're snatching his melanin. Whoa! <laughs> no, 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 I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. That'll be snatching his black card. And let you know I am absolutely not interested in being with you or any other Caucasian woman on any level. Thank you, please go. Dr. Omar, I want to thank you for coming on my show. Can I still get a handshake or do you think I'm too much? Nah, you Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, come on. I'm going to pray for you. Dude. I can't get a handshake no more? I'll give you a pound. Brother, come on. You can't get a... <laughs> I can't give you a handshake. I'm going I'm to go ahead and get it to myself. I want to thank you once again. No I do want to tell you I'm 100% joking. I did thoroughly enjoy the conversation. My only girlfriend is a black girlfriend. Of course, I'm pranking you. Hey, brother. Both of y'all look fake. <laughs> no, no, you did. And uh, we want to we appreciate you for not uh, taking it too serious, man, being very yes, lighthearted. So yes, I appreciate sir. it. Yes, I, 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 yo, I'm not a, I am not can't even get my fist bump still? Negro, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> he said, hold on. I got to see this girlfriend you talking about, bud. <laughs> he said, let me see the black girlfriend first. This was freaking hilarious. Okay, I kind of knew what was going to happen because if y'all know who Dr. Umar is, he's very vocal about what he stands for. You get what I'm saying? So I already knew where this was going, to be honest. What do you guys think about the video? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for coming through. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.